This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Hi, my name is Amy Griesack. I'm a garden writer in Great Falls, Montana, and today I'm going to show you how to plant your tree that you picked up at the local nursery in a container. Now, container-grown trees are a great way to go because the nurseries and the greenhouses can keep them throughout the season, but there are a couple of drawbacks that you need to be aware of. One is having the container a little bit too root-bound. When they're grown in containers, a lot of times they grow, they grow obviously faster than shrubs, and so the roots will tend to go round and round inside. So one thing you do, you're going to have to kind of open it up and basically unwind those. So when you put your tree in the hole, it has ability to expand and won't just keep growing around itself. And the other thing you have to consider that I'll show you when we place it in the hole is to make sure you're not burying it too deeply. Sometimes even in containers, they will put too much soil or mulch on the top that's actually a little deeper than what the tree should have. So the third, first thing, when you have your container and you're ready to plant it, you water it thoroughly first. So you always, you always want to make sure you keep it moist, but before you plant it, it's good to give it a good watering. The next is getting it out of the container. Easy way to do it is just tip it over and just kind of rock it back and forth a little bit and then tug to see if it pulls out. And this one does. So this is a good example of what I'm talking about. That this tree, or actually this cluster of trees, these are actually three apple trees grown together, three different varieties called triple play. That So they all pollinate blossom at the same time and pollinate each other, but plant it the same as any other container tree. But these trees have been in this container a bit, and so the roots are going round and round. So what I'm going to do to fix that situation is a little bit of tough love. I'm going to take my knife and just cut through and open it up in about a half a dozen places around this tree. Now, once we have our cuts made in the roots, we can kind of open it up a little bit. And this is also a good time to remove some of this soil too. Now you can see a lot of these feeder roots are pretty close to the top. So we're gonna take this off, just kind of raking it with my fingers. And there's little granular, or the time release fertilizer on top. But yeah, cause this don't wanna, don't want to just have this really good, nutritious planting medium right here because it would be detrimental in the long run. So we're just kind of removing some of this and want to get down and make sure that we're not going to overbury the tree because it'll girdle it and eventually kill it. And especially with this variety, which is not a cheap tree. I call it the horticultural equivalent to Prada shoes, but it's something any plant geek has to have. Definitely want to make sure it's done properly. Okay, now we're just finishing up filling in a little bit of soil around the tree. Kind of watered it along the way to make sure that there's not a lot of air, no air bubbles down there. And you don't have to smash it down, but just kind of pack it down. Add a little bit more so we're not we don't have it planted too deeply and we have it planted just right I'm gonna give this another really good dose of water and then once we got it all watered in and settled in we'll put a three to four inch layer of probably a bark mulch on it which will help keep the roots cool when the temperatures actually warm up this year and it'll re help retain that moisture so when you buy your container plant, just remember, you need to make sure those roots get loosened up because it's been confined for way too long. And don't plant it too deep. Give it lots of water. And you should have some great trees in the future. Go out there and have fun.